Illustrator allows you to place objects within your documents and it can support a variety of file formats. You can place rasterized images like JPEGs and PNGs and you can also do vector graphics like other Illustrator files and even PDFs. For this one, I want to place these two rasterized images, this frog and this tomato, into my document. To do this, we'll go into Illustrator up to the File and down to Place. This will bring up our place dialog box and this is where we can find our files. So there's my tomato and if I scroll down there's my frog. Let's do the frog first. With frog selected I can choose to either link it or not link it or place it as a template. I'm going to keep those unchecked and simply hit place and this will place a copy of my image into whatever layer I had selected. Once it's placed I can scale it rotate it, move it like any other object. Now let's place the, the tomato. I'll go back to File and Place. Let's find the tomato. There it is. This time I'm going to choose Link. When I link the picture, instead of saving a copy of it into the InDesign file, it's going to require me to have that, uh, that particular file image saved along with it outside of my document is going to link to it. So when I hit place, notice it's got an X going through it now. Just like any other file, I can scale it down and move it around. The thing about linked files is make sure that this file is also saved outside of this document. So if I was to go and move it, let's say I moved it to another folder, it's no longer on my desktop. So when I go here, it's saying, hey, some files are missing or have been modified. Would you like to update them? Well, that, what it's doing is it's trying to find a copy of my file. So if I hit yes, and we're going to say uh, we can't find it, we're going to replace it. And this will bring up my replace dialog box, and it'll ask me to try to find it. I believe I placed it into this folder. There it is. There's my tomato. And we'll do replace. And now it's been replaced back on here as well. Placing linked files will give you smaller Illustrator files, but embedding the file will give you a larger file, but you don't have to always link it together. So there's a toss-up. Here's a final thing. If you have a linked file, so for instance my uh, tomato, and I want to embed it into here, I can have it selected. At the very top of my tool options, choose Embed. This will embed a copy of it and I no longer have to worry about linking that file by itself.